Hello, this is Randy Singh down here at Canalside reporting for KLTV. Here this week to speak to Glyn Snowden, Assistant Manager of Huddersfield Town Football Club, after a fantastic victory against Wolverhampton Wanderers on the weekend. We talked to him about his preparations for tomorrow evening's kickoff against Peterborough down London Road. So Glyn, fantastic result against Wolves on the weekend. Tell me, are the, are the squad starting to believe, you know, promotion for the Premiership ultimately at the end of the season? Well, they're not believing in that as, as much yet, but uh, they're believing in themselves what good, good players they are and what a uh, good squad we've got now. You know, we said that to them exactly before the game on Saturday. If you do believe in yourself, you know, it's amazing how far you can go, this group of players. Uh, and, it, and it proved for the uh, 90 minutes out there Saturday that what a fantastic performance it was. And you've got the likes of, you know, Callum Woods, um, Paul Dixon, Oliver Norwood, not to mention Jermaine Beckford and James Bourne doing so ever so well this season. Who's been the outstanding performers, in your opinion, so far? Uh, again, it's, it's been difficult because, you know, I think everybody's played their part. You know, you, you look at the old regime, Keith Southern, you know, he, OK, he's not one of them flair players, but what, what a great man and what a great leader to have out there. Peter Clark, another one that wears his heart on his sleeve, and, you know, we've scored lots of goals and some good goals, but, you know, the blocks he puts in sometimes, that, that's as good as, as good as a goal. And, uh, you know, you've got to give the uh, defence credit as well at times. And significantly on the weekend, Jermaine Beckford got his 100th career goal. Firstly, what did you make of the finish? And, you know, as, a, as working with um, Jermaine before, what has it done for his confidence, say? Jermaine's come back now with a smile on his face. You know, when you've got a smile on Jermaine Beckford's face in training and in games, you, you'll get the quality there. You know, he needs an arm around him, needs loving, and that's what we'll give him, if that's the best out of him. And what he produced on Saturday and what we've seen as, as well when he was at Leeds United, he can score all types of goals, any types of goals, but you know, it's a great one to get his 100th one, a great finish, great technical finish, you know, and what a great ball as well from Adam Clayton for him. And speaking of which, he's playing up front with James Vaughan at the moment, and both of them are fantastic in terms of the partnership and the goal scoring. In, in January, are you looking to make that into a permanent meal, perhaps? Or? We'd love to, yeah, we'd love to get both of them there, uh, you know, because the two great players, they, they feed off each other and what a partnership it is. And, you know, I think any back four in the league uh, at the moment will be fearful of uh, playing against Jermaine Beckford and James Vaughan. And a lot of Huddersfield Town fans there were tweeting on the weekend, you know, fantastic performance. I think it, um, it was Simon Sun that tweeted, you know, it's the best performance he's seen his dad, dad's uh, team play, you know, in his managerial career. What's the influence of the fans like, you know, in the dressing room for the players, especially at the moment? Well, that's all they want to do it for, you know, they pay their money, they want to do it for the Huddersfield Town fans and for this great chairman that they've got as well, you know, because he's a fan himself and he believes in this club. And, you know, they, they go out there and give, give everything. And it's not just with the ability and creativity, you know, the sheer hard work, that's where it starts. And what they did on uh, Saturday for, especially 60 minutes, they put a, a lot of hard work into it. And, you know, with the last 15 minutes where they did run out of steam, because uh, they had run the legs into the ground, to be fair. Let's on to tomorrow's fixture, Tuesday night. Game against Peterborough, who are rock bottom in the uh, league at the moment. Tell me, what's going to be the motivation factor, you know, when you're going down there, tough place like London Road, for the players? It is going to be tough, it doesn't matter where they are in the league, you know, Peter have got some good players, you know, when they've been to Hull and been to Barnsley and got results there, so forget where they are in the league, you know, this is another game, it's a championship game, which, you know, if you're not ready for it, it can bite you in the backside, so we've got to make sure that's our jobs, to make sure that, yeah, they're relaxed, they're confident, but also that they're, they're ready to go on Tuesday night, it's not just a matter of putting the shirt on and thinking it's Peter and we're going to go out there and win, they've got to do what they did for an hour against Wolves, and if they do that, then they've got a chance of beating anybody. And speaking of which, is, is there a performance, you know, anxiety or any nerves that come into play when, you've got, when you're facing a team lower in the league who potentially may pay for nothing to lose? No, not really. If you believe in yourself and you believe what you've got, you know, you want to go out there with, with the confidence, you know, but it's got to make sure it's not a cockiness. You know, you can be cocky if you're 4-0 up with five minutes to go. Yeah. They've got to be confident, yeah, and believe in themselves. You know, they haven't got to be fearful of any team because uh, if you do, you do things that uh, you don't normally do. And the last significant game against Peterborough was ironically in you know the playoff final a couple of seasons back is that a motivational factor that you'll use to you know motivate the players going down there well there's some different players now here you know uh, from that day uh, there's still some left yeah and they'll probably remember that but this, this is another game you know and if we can get the three points and move further up the league then then that's all we're bothered about we couldn't do anything what happened you know at Old Trafford that day but uh, I suppose one or two people will some of the fans will but we'll make sure that we'll be ready for to get the three points there and finally John Lynch came back this weekend Will there be many changes in for tomorrow? Well, we've been discussing this morning. We'll have another discussion early morning, but I can't see many changes. You know, uh, like I say, we've got some good players coming back with Joel Lynch, Adam Hamill, you know, and uh, Sean Scannell's just come back. So we'll just be saying what a great bench we've got to look forward to anyway. 
All the best for tomorrow, Green. Cheers, thank you very much. Cheers. Well, there you have it. I spoke to Glyn Snowden, Assistant Manager of Huddersfield Town Football Club this week. And on behalf of the squad and Simon Grayson, he assures us that they're ready for the big contest against Peterborough at London Road Tuesday evening. This is Rani Singh reporting for KLTV.